So the first half we're going to be covering is uh, to better protect ourselves um, is for realtor safety. The Be Safe app, um, it's the letter B followed by S-A-F-E. Um, Be Safe is a peer-to-peer, -peer, you need somebody else to install it on their phone and this is going to share your location, let everybody know if you are in danger. It does not connect directly to um, the authorities. So this is something just to let people know where you are. It sends a text with video, location, and it makes a phone call if you ever are in danger. Right, so the way that I like looking at this app is like your personal bodyguard, if you will, electronic bodyguard. You create a sphere of influence, uh, whether it be a friend, coworker, manager, broker, uh, spouse. They have to have the app as well. You create, you set the app, uh, let's say you're going on a showing, be it that over 90% of all buyers and sellers are now found online, it is very critical and very crucial that we know who we're dealing with. Um, things have happened in the past where people have gotten into some terrible situations. So this is just an added layer of security uh, to protect yourself. That being said, the way that the app works is... Go timer. Excuse me. The way that the app works is you can set it on a timer if you're on a showing. Uh, the app will remind you if the timer is clicking down. You see it on the screen here, it says the alarm will set in two seconds. So, once that alarm does go off, the, your phone automatically turns into the video camera on. It'll start recording everything that's in front of you. Your microphone also turns on. It records everything that's being said around you. Next, it goes ahead and sends an email and a text message to your sphere and lets them know by GPS where you are located and it also sends them a link of the video that was just taken along with the sound. This is not 911, this is not, um, you know, uh, but, th but this is an extra layer of security so you can at least have some Next. protection. Planimeter, uh, a pretty cool app that uses your GPS location. Um, the, the, there's a couple of pretty good uses for it. You could manually input um, locations on, on the map as you can see on the right and what it does is that it creates a measurement, an area of, the, of what you're measuring in order to um, give you an idea of if they ask you how big is this backyard, you could give them a, an estimate of how big it is. You could also walk the backyard and with your GPS location, it'll also create that um, <coughs> space for you. It'll, it'll, it'll create that um, measurement for you. Um, a couple of ideas that are given, an accuracy test on the left hand side, it, it's pretty accurate down to a, a few square feet and on the right hand side I used it like I said to, to measure a backyard to, to give you an idea of can I put a pool here, um, can, my pay, can my kids play soccer back here, um, the answer is either yes or no when, when you're able to tell them a little bit better. Again that, that app is Planimeter. Alright, the next so. app we have on the screen is a, a basic mortgage calculator. Everyone should have one uh, but also always go ahead and refer to the lender. The one that we're showing is homes.com, it's a mortgage and rate calculator. Um, what it does is you can do basic amortization tables um, and then show your customers how fast they can pay off their property if they go ahead and skip through the first couple years of interest payment. Um, it's a nice way of breaking down the screen, uh, breaking down the payments for them um, when you're on the fly. Again, I would refer this to any lender that you work closely with. Uh, but to have something that they can kind of get a grasp for and see how much they qualify for, this is a great app. Homekeeper, this is a great way to stay in front of your um, buyers once they purchase. It's a great way to share monthly tips for on maintaining their, ho their property. And it's also whenever they ask you for a plumber, an electrician, a roofer, you could send it to them through the app or they can download the app in your name and it'll, and it'll keep them tied to you um, in order to, through the app, it'll be branded with your face as you can see on the left hand side. The left hand side is, is what the customer sees, is what your, your past buyer, future seller hopefully will see and you can always stay um, on top of mind. Again, it's a great way to share information with them and, and keep uh, a little bit more control of, of, of who they use and, and when they reach out to you. All right, the next app is TurboScan. Uh, it's a document scanner. It's probably one of my favorite, if not most used apps. Uh, it is a few bucks on the Apple Store. I believe it's at $3.99 right now. Um, the app essentially turns your phone into a digital scanner. The accuracy on this app is phenomenal. Um, something on the fly, uh, if you're driving and you're pulled over and you quickly take a picture of this pamphlet, it will automatically convert it into a PDF 
and you can go ahead and upload it any way that you need to, whether it be uh, email, uh, Dropbox, whatever the case may be. If you look on the screen to the left, you see how it's, the screen itself is already outlined in red. The app has a way of automatically you know, differentiating the two between a paper and, and the background. If it doesn't, you can manually go in there and set the corners or the uh, diameters, if you will, uh, to your liking. The name is again on the left-hand side, Turbo Scan, all one word. Now this, let me go back real quick. Here you can add multiple documents. So while I wouldn't suggest Turbo Scanning a 14-page as is contract, um, maybe a four-page listing agreement is okay. Easy PDF Reader Pro. Um, this, again, we don't want to replace anything that you're currently using. So if you already are using a PDF editor, um, by, by all means, please keep using that. Um, and, and these apps are going to help you kind of tie in the time between your office, your showings, and, and the beach. So if you're at the beach and you need to take some, care of something quickly, um, these apps are great for that. What you can do on, on Easy PDF Reader Pro or, or any other um, PDF editing software is I, I've, I've done an example uh, that you can see on the screen there. Scratch out the current seller's name just in case they got it wrong by any chance. Um, you put the new seller's name. You draw the circle. Everything you see in orange there I was able to do on my phone. So you're able to draw a circle with a line through it so then it could be initialed later. And you can kind of keep your, your business moving while you're on the go. This helps you stay on the go. Again, this is Easy PDF Reader Pro. Um, there's a lot of other apps out there. So if you're already using one, or if you're already using something that integrates it, please um, just, just, just stay with that. But this is just to give you a different, uh, an idea of different ways on how to use it. All right, next on the line, we have Dropbox. I'm sure many of you have heard of Dropbox, if not something similar. Uh, it's an iCloud storage-based program. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. However, uh, Dropbox has a, f a couple of cool features now. Um, Dropbox is a back-end technology that a lot of, that I personally use as my brokerage, so I store uh, my agent's files and records. To not spend a lot of money in back-end technology, I prefer to use Dropbox. It also has a lot of uses for when you're collaborating with others. Aubrey and myself worked together on this when we put together our presentations, and not only that, Dropbox did just add a scanner, <clears throat> excuse me, a scanner with your photo album directly into the app. Um, you can go ahead and share with your agents, so your agents or whomever else can go ahead and add files to the same folder, or you can restrict access to the folders so they can only read, download, and just kind of view the information that's in them. Uh, you have to be extremely careful when you're using this app, uh, giving the permissions that you're offering to certain people, uh, because they can go ahead and manipulate and quite frankly delete all of your files as well. Just to add to that, there, there is some concerns with uh, personal information. Remember, whenever you share a link to one of these folders, you don't know what happens next with that link. So whenever you're sharing these folders, make sure it's with somebody that you can trust. Um, if you need to take sensitive information out of the folders or create a new folder, please make sure to do that. You don't always want to be forwarding uh, sensitive information. Uh, I, I don't deal very much with social securities, but if you are, make sure that that is uh, protected information. Who here uses Evernote? I, I feel like it's become a very popular app. Awesome. Uh, hopefully today we'll, we'll teach you a different way on how to use it. I, I, I use it when, when uh, I, I finally, for the 10th time, uh, my girlfriend tells me to buy something and I've forgotten 100 times. I finally write it down on Evernote and then I'll buy it. But Evernote also helps you if you are um, driving the streets looking for properties and commercial real estate especially, you're able to write down what's for sale, the, the name of the property and, and the name of the person and kind of continue moving along. It does it in story order. So however you're writing, that's how it comes up for you. And it's also a great way to do walkthroughs. So if you do property management, you can say your uh, kitchen needs to be repainted, tile uh, uh, in the second bathroom has to be replaced. You can take pictures do voice notes, do voice to text. It's a very powerful app, especially its search feature. When everybody asks me what's the difference between this and apps like OneNote, I tell them these search capabilities on Evernote for everything that I've done over the last, I think I've had this app for six years now. Um, it, it's really easy to find anything that I'm looking for just with a few keywords. Uh, again, that's Evernote since most of you already use it. Hopefully you could do it a little bit different today. Probably one of my favorite apps. I discovered this accidentally about six or seven years ago just playing on the computer one day and this app came up and, and it, it offered to manage my money for me, which I thought was great. Um, 
it was able to tie, basically long story short, it ties in all of your bank accounts, statements, 401k, profit sharing, and it pretty much gives you a balance sheet or it gives you an at a glance. I have my timers here clicking. Um, so basically you can set your monthly budgets on it. If you go over on your budget, it will send you an email. It will also send you an email every month letting you know what bills are due and when. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much Mint.com. Mint.com. Dashlane, keeping all your passwords in one location is very important. Um, between Dashlane and OnePass, they're the two strongest, the, the, well, the most well uh, encrypted apps that are currently on the market. That's important because obviously if you're putting a lot of your information in one location, you want it to be safe. The kicker here is that you need to remember the password for the app. So, yeah. Um, if it's on your phone, if you have a fingerprint scanner, you can use a fingerprint scanner to access the app. So that is one way to make it a little bit easier for you. GoConnect is basically um, a personal assistant on your phone. It reminds you of what you need to do once you get a new listing. It's a predetermined steps that, that you need to go through. If you need to put a lockbox, take pictures, it automatically puts it on, on, your computer, on your phone for you and sets reminders. Unroll me. Um, show of hands, how many of you have used Tinder? No, just don't raise your hand. No? Okay. Well, it kind of works in the same fashion. If you, what you do is you link it to your email account. Essentially, if you swipe to the right, you want to keep that email coming in. If you swipe to the left, it unsubscribes you from the email. If you, if you scroll up on the email, it'll combine all of the emails that you're kind of on the fence on but not too sure about. It combines them all together into one email per day. So instead of being inundated with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of emails, it's a way of getting rid of the ones you don't want, keeping the ones you want, and yet keeping the ones that you're kind of in the fence on only coming in once a day. So it declutters your box.